Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome to the Crash Can. I'm Sean, and today we're taking a look at the Armitan Marmot. Bind and fly, plug and play. What you, what you want? What you, what you want? So let's start off with the likes. What do I like about this quad? I like it. It's a sturdy one-piece frame. I like the fact that you can adjust the front end, GoPro and camera together so you always have the same view. You don't have to get different mounts and match whatever style camera. So if you want to change your style midday, you can. Very simple. I like the motors. They're they're nice and linear. They got good, good low end smoothness. Mid throttles really nice. And if you want to punch it, you, you full throttle it, and it punches decent. I like. Let's see what else do I like about this guy. I like the look of it. I like the low profile. I like this big space here for batteries, so you can get pretty big batteries. I mean, here's a 1300. Not bad. Um, let's see, what else do I like about it? I really like how it flies, and I'm pretty happy with this thing. So let's go with the dislikes. Yep, those are all my dislikes. This is literally the first quad I've ever gotten where I have zero dislikes. I'm happy with everything. I, I, it's unbelievable. I mean, down to the little things where I, I do like this up here. And I thought at first, well, maybe it's going to get in the way with the GoPro. If you put your session here or whatever. It doesn't. No problem. It's much better having it here than here or sticking out the side and tie wrapped on or whatever. So there you go. So honestly, I, I, I like the quad. I'm very happy. This is literally my main new bad boy quad that I am going to be flying all the time. If it breaks, then that's when I'll fly one of my other ones, but I'm probably going to get a couple more frames so I can have some spares, and I might try a couple different, you know, setups, maybe get one with 2450 KVs and go down to 4S, see how that works, maybe even try getting like a 1700 KV and running 6S, who knows, or I might just build three identical, because this thing flies so wonderful, I have no problems with it. Okay, so... Now that we went over the likes and dislikes, let's go over what you actually get with this guy. So first and foremost, let's go over what you get with the frame. The frame. They now have an option where you can go with the Armitan Classic carbon fiber or with the new space grade carbon fiber that they originally launched this frame with. That is totally your opinion, however you want to go. You can go either way. I, of course, I went with the space grade and that's what this carbon is. It looks really nice. It feels very solid. I did take a couple good smacks and I have zero damage, so I have no problem with it. Plus, you know, lifetime warranty. Holy crap, that's awesome. And okay, so that's the frame. Now, the flight controller is a CL Racing F4S and they do have it soft mounted for you, which is nice. And it came with Betaflight 3.5.7 I did fly it originally with that on it, but I went ahead and upgraded to 4.0. Alright, because I'm just a big Betaflight 4.0 fan at this point. I really like how that works, and the new filtering, and the new everything. Now, I did have a little bit of slight prop wash, you know, doing uh, some hard turns, hard flips. I was able to eliminate almost 100% with Betaflight 4.0, and that's also with the new props. So, that we'll get into that next. Because the motors are called Underdog 22, oops, sorry, 2306, 2150 KV. Now they're branded Armitan, but on their website they're called Underdog, so there's that. But like I said, they're 2150, so I'm flying 5S. 
and it came with the um, Dell prop 5045 props. Now I, I I like it. It was so smooth with them props, but I, I wanted a little bit of more oomph when I needed it, and uh, so I upgraded. Well, not upgraded, but I changed to the uh, 50 or 5.4.8 HQ props mainly because I also fly a Remix and it has 2150 kV motors on it and that is the propellers I use on that one so it's probably just my personal opinion because I like that combination and I'm used to it so that's why I went that route. Now the ESC's it comes with the Armitan 30 amp D-Shot capable BL Heli S not 32 S and there's four. It's not a four in one, so you get four separate ones, which is nice if one ever goes bad. It's easier just to replace one than have to replace the whole board. Uh, there's not a lot of room in here, as you can see, so I'm not sure if you could put a four in one in there. It might be a really tight fit. You'll have to change the standoffs and whatnot, but I'm sure people have done it. Let's see. So that's nice. The camera, it's a Fox Air Predator Mini. It's a 2.5 millimeter. This could be a slight dislike. I'd much rather have a 2.1 millimeter, but it, it, the 2.5 is perfectly fine. I could fly great, so there you go. No problem there. Now the VTX, you have two options for your VTX. You can either get the TBS Unify Pro HV or the TBS Unify Race HV. Now the Race only goes to 200 milliamp, milliwatt, and the... Um, Pro goes all the way up to 800 milliwatts. So I opted for the Pro because I'm doing this for freestyle, not racing, and I want some good distance. That is also an option, so that's your choice. Uh, the antenna. It comes with a Pagoda 2 antenna. Not much to say about that. Everybody knows about them. Uh, what else does it come with? I think that's it. They did include the pads, and they did include a uh, Armitan branded battery strap. Unfortunately, I broke it. So I'm now using race day quads. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. I do like that's black, too, instead of the yellow. Now, the receivers, you have two options for receivers. You can get a Crossfire receiver. Or you can get a RXX, RSXR, or RXSR, sorry, <laughs> the Free Sky. I opted for neither because I'm converting everything to R9. I don't have Crossfire for two reasons. I use a QX7, I never did the conversion on it, and it's more expensive than the R9. And the R9 works. I'm not going to be trying to fly, you know, miles away, so I'm not worried about you know, super distance. I just don't want to worry about fail safes kicking in. And I upped this to what 500 milliwatt for the um, transmitter, and I've had zero issues with signal. I mounted it back here. It has this little spot in the frame that I was able to just put it through here, which works out really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I gotta. But that's how that fit. It doesn't hit the props at all. It doesn't get in the way. It's got good signal. No problem. So the R9 works very well on this beast. And you also, with the R9MM is what I used, you get telemetry as well as your smart audio. You get, you get it all. So you can't complain there. Now I know Crossfire does that and I know the RSXR does that. That's why they included that one so you can still have your telemetry. This uh, CL Racing... FC has a telemetry pad labeled telemetry right on it, so it's nice and easy to hook up. Again, this is a beautiful quad. I really like how it looks. I love how it flies. This nice front end piece, you know, the adjustability of this whole thing. You know, watching other people's videos, I honestly was a little worried that it was going to be too hard to get to them screws. But as you see, no problem. They made the gapping just nice. You can fit your screwdriver in there perfectly and have no issues. Easy to adjust. You adjust them three screws. This whole piece moves. I'm sure everybody has already seen that because there's been a ton of videos on this frame. 
I'm just excited. That's why I'm doing it because this is literally my new quad. I love this thing. No problems. So uh, what else can we say about this guy? So if you're the type of person that just loves to fly, don't want to build, don't care about building, this is the way to go. This thing is put together nice. It flies nice. It'll do anything you want. You want to go fast. You want to go slow. You want to go smooth. It's it's great. I'm you know I'm not being paid for this, so I don't want you to think I'm being biased. This is literally in my opinion. This thing is great quad. Oh, this FC does have a black box, so you can if you're into that kind of stuff, you can record it. I have a uh, little card in right here. Just clicks in right there. USBs on that side. VTX is here in the back. I mounted the uh, R9. I just stuck it to the top of the FC. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, it, it's it's if put it this way, if you were debating on getting this, my suggestion is go for it. You honestly will not be disappointed. It it's smooth. I, I can't believe how smooth it is. Like. When I first flew it, it was just spot on. Amazing. So guys, that is my take on the uh, Armitan Marmot ready to ship. Bind and fly, PMP, whatever you want to call it. That's the beast right there. Very good quad. Highly recommend. I am totally in love with it. I'd marry it. You know, that kind of stuff. So, if you are on the fence, go for it. I, I, you, you definitely, 100%, will not be disappointed. If you like that smooth flying, you got it. If you want that aggressive flying, you got it. If you want something that's sturdy, you got it. If you want something with a lifetime warranty, you got it. There you go. That's it. So, let's take a look a little bit of flight footage before we go. And I'm going to trying to find my macro lens to give some decent pictures here but I'm having a hard time finding it so I don't know if I'm going to be able to include that in this video because if I don't use it you just get blurry close-ups which kind of sucks but that's my story and I'm sticking to it I hope you liked the video if uh, you got any questions or suggestions throw them in the comments and if you liked it please like and subscribe share all that good stuff and I will see you in the next one have a great day